So I'm going to take a look at the official concept art from Pokemon Legends Arceus and Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl and talk about how this may be actually pretty good for Legends ZA. Recently online, some posts resurfaced about like the official concept art, like the official ones, not like a fan-made concept art, like officially made concept art from Game Freak or the Pokemon Company, whatever. And it's pretty interesting to me to look at because the Legends Arceus concept art is pretty much like nearly exactly what we got in the game and then the brilliant diamond and shining pearl concept artwork is completely different than what we got which is kind of bizarre also if you guys don't mind leaving a like on this video subscribing to the channel and comment something down below about how you feel about legends ea it really goes a long way and i really really appreciate all the support so this website over here bulba garden has just all the pictures of the official concept art from legends rcs so i'm just going to quickly scroll through this like this stuff it's it's almost like a one-to-one -one picture of exactly what we got. Like, this is basically 100% what we got in Legends Arceus. Or Arceus, sorry. Some people get upset that I say Arceus. I'll try to say Arceus from now on. But take a look at this. This is some pretty cool concept art right here. You know, like the Pokemon all around you, sleeping in the tent. That's pretty accurate. You know, we even got the professor right here. We got the character. Like, that's literally exactly what we got in the game. So, the concept art from Legends Arceus is pretty close and I, I can't wait until Legend ZA comes out and then we get the concept art after because I just am so excited to see how they actually originally wanted Legend ZA to look and then how it actually came out because stay tuned because we're gonna get to the Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl stuff really soon. So here's a building, you know, it's very Japanese inspired, like old school Japanese building and it's literally what we got in the game and which makes me think that Legend ZA is actually gonna be pretty promising with how it looks like graphics wise and gameplay wise because I think Legends Arceus was a super creative and awesome looking game like I really enjoyed all of the artwork like I really enjoyed everything about Legends Arceus okay this one's kind of a crazy one this is not really what we got in the game but this one is actually really interesting this concept art really looks like it is trying to take advantage of like us camping out in the wildlife just in nature we I don't recall anything like this from the game but this is really cool right here. I'm actually really liking what I'm seeing here because the reason I'm even bringing this up is because I feel like a lot of this concept art is going to be used for Legend ZA, even though I know Legend ZA is supposed to take place in Lumio City and everything, but I feel like they could still take inspiration from Legends Arceus concept art and the Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl. I think the Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl is extremely interesting artwork too. But here's like the main building in the city. Like that's pretty much what it looks like. That might actually be exactly what it looks like in the game. And if Legend ZA still continues to have like a creative, you know, artwork, like I feel like Legends Arceus was just extremely creative and it was a little different than the regular Pokemon games, which is part of the reason that I thought that game was so cool and kind of brought back some of the original Pokemon magic is because it was so different than like the typical Pokemon game, you know what I mean? So now let's go take a look at the Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl concept art. So I don't know where they lost themselves because this concept art looks amazing and the game looks nothing like the concept art, but I have a feeling that the Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl concept art is going to be heavily inspired for Legend ZA because the buildings and stuff around, like, like, look at that. See what I mean? The scale of the city is like an actual skitty. I don't, I just said skitty. City. And like there's your there's your character right here and this the scale of the buildings would look pretty realistic you're actually walking through like a major city with people walking pokemon moving around and i really do believe that they're going to use this concept art for legends ZA. but my entire point is like the scaling of the buildings around and just how the people are are just walking like that and they don't have like you know the the chibi art style and everything like this is so comforting to me and i think this is just amazing concept art and if the game actually looked like this i mean obviously in a pokemon game the, the characters wouldn't look exactly like that like they they were not they definitely were never planning on actually looking like that but so here's another perfect example of a city just the scaling of this city is perfect i mean imagine legend ZA that's going to be taking place in lumio city and you're walking on a hustling city with a lot of pokemon walking with their trainers or their owners, whatever you call them. And look, there's your character right there. You get your Pokemon and you just walk through the city and then you somehow in Legends ZA, there's gonna be, you know, wildlife and everything like that. And like this, this is some construction right here. So this could be kind of what we're gonna see in Legends ZA with like all the construction and the redevelopment of Lumio City. 
I don't understand how this was the concept art for Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl. I just don't know where they went wrong because the Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl concept art is insane and the games did not look anything like this. Of course people, when they want a remake, they're gonna want a pretty good faithful remake. This this type of remake definitely would have been more of like an open world style remake, which fans probably would have hated too. I would have thought it was pretty cool though. But just like, look at that, that's insane. The scaling is crazy. This literally looks like it's straight from the anime almost, which I think is obviously what they're trying to do for Legend ZA if it's gonna be take a place in the open world again with the city being the main point it takes place in. Like here's another picture of you, your trainer, whatever, your Pokemon with some houses. And it's probably the city bridges and everything. You know, we got a Gyarados coming out of the water. Like, that's so cool. And I really hope that we see Pokemon like this come out the water. Hopefully there's going to be like big ravines and just like streams within Lumio City that we're going to be able to catch Pokemon and see Pokemon. There's um, the monuments and stuff like that. That's pretty cool. This definitely reminds me of Legends Arceus right here though, like where they kind of the end of the game took place, I believe. That definitely looks like Legends Arceus. So, I mean, maybe in a way they even tried to put all of this concept art for Legends Arceus because Legends Arceus is technically a Gen 4 game, kind of where they went with this, but I even don't, I don't even think that they mastered it with that because Legends Arceus is, don't, is different than Legends ZA in the, in the sense that it's not in like the wilderness. Legends EA is going to be in a city whereas Legends Arceus was completely in nature so like stuff like this just wouldn't work for Legends Arceus because this isn't a city. This is going to be perfect for Legends ZA and I don't know how I've never seen this before. I guess this came out when the games came out you know like two or three years ago or something and I'm just seeing all of this concept art now. I don't know how I ever missed it. Here's like some of the concept art of the characters designs which eh, I mean it, I could see kind of, I don't know, this kind of reminds me of Scarlet and Violet, the way that like the eyes look and everything. But of course in the games we actually got the chibi versions of all these. So the characters definitely, I don't know, maybe they use those for Scarlet and Violet, but there's a lot of things that they could take inspiration from, from different regions and different areas or different, different concept arts from previous games to make the newer games look better. Like this one's pretty, pretty exciting. I mean, that's Obviously, the animation style didn't look like this, or like the graphics didn't look like this in Legends of Arceus, but that's pretty much, you know, that's pretty much what we got overall. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Let me know what you think about all this concept art, because I think the Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl concept art is just something else, and, and I think this is going to be perfect for Legends ZA.